Hello everyone, welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is State and Trends of Carbon Pricing 2025 Report. This topic relates to Environment section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. According to the World Bank's report, State and Trends of Carbon Pricing 2025, there has been a notable global increase in carbon pricing adoption. The report reveals that carbon pricing now covers nearly two-thirds of global GDP. This reflects a growing commitment by countries to address the environmental costs of greenhouse gas emissions. Now let's discuss about key points of the report. Around 28% of global GHG emissions are currently covered by carbon pricing mechanisms. Carbon pricing instruments like carbon taxes and ETSs collectively generate over $100 billion. The report shows a strong trend toward emissions trading systems, ETSs, as the preferred carbon pricing mechanism, with India developing its own ETS. India's ETS will focus on emission intensity reductions in its industrial sector. Unlike other ETS models, India's will be rate-based rather than cap-based, meaning emissions are controlled through performance benchmarks. The report highlights the rise in demand for nature-based carbon removal projects such as afforestation, afforestation, which has attracted significant private finance. The demand for nature-based removals and clean cooking projects has increased, with credits for nature-based projects rising by 25% in 2024. Now let's discuss what is carbon pricing. Carbon pricing is a method used by governments to capture the external costs of greenhouse gas, GHG emissions, such as damage to crops, healthcare expenses from heat waves, flooding, and property loss due to climate change. The pricing mechanisms tie these costs to the entities responsible for the emissions, typically through a price on carbon dioxide, CO2. Carbon pricing is viewed by many governments not just as a tool to reduce emissions, but also as a revenue generation mechanism. Now moving on to details about types of carbon pricing instruments. First Emissions Trading System, ETS, Governments set a cap on the amount of emissions allowed and companies can trade emission units, allowances, to meet their targets. Companies can sell excess allowances if they reduce emissions below their limit. Second, carbon taxes. Governments levy a tax on the carbon content of fossil fuels or the amount of greenhouse gas emissions produced by companies. And third, carbon credit trading mechanism Companies can purchase carbon credits generated from activities that reduce or remove emissions. Example, afforestation or methane capture from landfills. These credits allow companies to offset their emissions. Now is the time for practice question regarding carbon credits and carbon pricing. Which of the following statements are true? 1. Carbon credit trading allows companies to offset emissions through activities like afforestation. 2. Carbon taxes are imposed based on the amount of CO2 emissions produced by companies. 3. Carbon credit systems are not linked to environmental sustainability efforts. Select the correct answer. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 1 and 3 only, D, all of the above. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.